Thank you all for being here today. This week, our focus is on the body system and the great benefit that yoga has on our body. We live in a very hectic lifestyle in this modern day. And so there's a lot of ailments that we experience with how we sit or the foods we eat and the activities we engage in. So focusing on how the practices of yoga can help parts of us. The holistic experience of yoga gives us everything that we need to make it help and balance in our body, which is bringing a little bit more specific um, asanas to certain body parts or systems to maintain health and balance. So yesterday we talked about the musculoskeletal system and I shared with you the Mrityan Jaya uh, yoga sequence. And we're going to repeat that today because it also has great benefits even when we do the focus of the cardiovascular system. So today thinking of how yoga helps benefit and keep our cardiovascular system healthy and strong. The movement of blood flow in the body, the lymphatic system that helps to remove waste in the body, keeping the heart pumping, keeping the blood flow regulated, oxygenation blood in the body to keep everything moving easily. So we're gonna start in standing position today. So please bring yourself up onto your mat, standing. Sadhana. Bring your hands to your heart, feet close together. Take a moment, close your eyes, observe your breath, find stillness. Let's chant three ohms together before we begin. Deep breath in. One more time. 
hand in this direction and then go the other direction. Push your hips forward as you lean back. Try to keep the back flat as you come forward. A couple more times, circulate. And then come back to neutral position. Straighten the body. Good. Now, this is a little balance. You can be near a wall if you need for support. Bring your feet back together. Standing on the left foot, drop the right knee towards your chest. Relax and let that leg float. Focusing just on the ankle, the joint. Circulating here. Both directions. These joints are quite gentle, so bringing awareness to these joints that we take for granted at the ankle now. Let's bring awareness to the knee. Circulate here in the knee joint. The hinge of the knee joint. Go in both directions. Use the support of a wall whenever you need. Good. Now relax the knee. The hip now. Bring awareness to the hip. Open and close here. The leg. Feeling that release of tension in the knee and the hip. Now we're going to straighten the leg and make big circles with the whole leg. Now, this is where you might need some support. Feel here the movement of the ball and socket of your hip joint. Try a few times in one direction and then go the other direction. Big circle. Try to get your legs lifted way up high off the ground. Good. And then relax. Shake up the knees, shake up the hips, and prepare for the other side. Ready? Steady. Right foot planted firmly down. Hug your left knee in close. And then let that left knee float. Focus on the ankle. Circle. Both directions. And if you even just close your eyes and focus on just that joint, you'll notice every sensation. Keeping circulation of the body. Now the knee. Circulate it. Both sides. Good. Drawing circles on the floor with your foot. Feel the movement in the knee. Good. Relax the knee for a moment. Let's focus on the hip joint. Opening the knee like a gate. Take it out. Bring it in. Just bring it a few times. When you're practicing, maybe increase your count. Maybe for five, seven, nine. Now straighten your leg and make big circles with the whole leg. So extend it. Big circle. Five, four, three, two, one. Go the other way. Five, four, three, two, and one. And one more if you feel like it. Take it all up. Knees, hips. Everything shaken up. Our circulation system. Benefit from all the movement and the asana that we practice in yoga. Take a moment to just in place jog. We work on strengthening the heart muscle when we move with a dynamic activity. Go a little faster using your arms, jogging in place. Observe your breath. Notice how your breath gets a little shorter. You're pumping the heart, the body active. Good. Slow it down. And relax. And just taking your feet now side to side. Good. As far as you can to the side. And then relax your feet. Come back to stillness. And relax. Bring your hand on your heart. Notice the beating of the heart. Circulation in the body. Practicing yoga to bring that holistic experience. All parts of the body active. And all parts of the body rebalanced. 
Now I share with you that Rizki and Jaya must uh, never start. One more time. Doing this yesterday, we just did one side. Today we'll see if we have time to do two sides. And then experience the benefits of this Rizki and Jaya Namaskar, which it has greatly on just the movement of the body, the extension and the contraction of the muscles, and the mindfulness when we hold each of the postures. Bring yourself to the top of your mat, feet together, Tadasana. It's also a 12 position sequence, just like Surya Namaskar. Position one, we start in a warrior one position. Right toes alongside the mat, left toes are forward. Arms up alongside our ears. Turn your hips and shoulders so that they're facing the short side of the mat. Dhira Bhadrasana one. Observe your posture here. Observe your breath here. And just allow yourself to be here for a moment. Engagement of the whole body, the muscular skeletal system, the circulatory system, active. Position two, Ashwa Sanchalasana. Your hands come to the mat, your right knee down, take a lunge here. Lift your gaze up. Sink into your hips. Position three is downward facing dog. Shake your hips up, press into your hands, press into your feet. Hold here, observe your breath, observe the posture. From other Mukhsvanasana, Salankasana, come to plank. Look out in front of you. Shoulders relaxed, push your heels back. From plank, soften your elbows, bring your body all the way down to the mat, and stretch your arms out in front of you. Shashtanga Namaskar. Bring your forehead to the mat. Get a nice stretch in the body. Observe how the body feels here. Now we're rolling onto our right shoulder, coming onto our back. Stretch the arms back behind you. Stretch your legs. Position six. Say to Bandhasana. Bend your knees. You can put yourself back on your mat if you need to. Bend your knees. Lift your hips up. Come to a bridge pose. Your hands underneath your back, interlacing your fingers. Bring your heels closer to your body and lift your hips up. Your knees should be right under your, your knees, right over your ankles. Feel the energy on your back here. Lift your chest up a little higher. Hold, and then releasing your hands, lower your hips. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring yourself into a tight ball. Svavana Muktasana. Shoulders, neck, head lifted. Bring yourself forward. Feel here the belly, thigh pressing close. Stimulate the digestive juices. Exhale, stretch your arms. Legs. Nice stretch the whole body. Now we roll back onto the right shoulder, coming onto our belly. Again, Shashtanga Namaskar. Now bring your hands by your side. Bend your knees. Your forehead is on the mat. We come to Dhanurasana to strengthen the spine. Hold onto your ankles and slowly push your feet into your hands. Your knees come off the ground. Shoulders lifted. Gaze lifted. And allow yourself to just rock and roll back and forth a little bit, giving a nice massage to the internal organs. Good. Push your feet into your hands, feel your knees come up, and then relax your knees down. Hands, place them right under your shoulders, and lift up the upper body, lifting the chest up. Heart lifted. Shoulders roll back. Keeping the hands directly under your shoulders, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Keeping the neck long, ears lifted off the shoulders. Look up to the sky. Good. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look out at your hands now. Step your right foot forward, come to a lunge. Ashwatantala. Observe here. This is 
position of the body, the engagement of all the muscles. Now bring your feet, left knee lifted, turn the left toes alongside the neck, and come to warrior one, where we started. Vira Vadrasana. Arms are lifted, keeping your elbows, arms close to your ears. Palms facing each other. Observe here the stability of the body. The legs, strong and steady. The arms lifted. And just observe the heart beating. The movement of circulation of the body. And then hands come together. Feet come together. Relax. One round of Nuttin Jai Namaskar. We'll do one more side. Hopefully you'll get the sequence down and you can just practice it on your own. 12 postures. Position one, exhale. Take your left foot back, Vira Badrasana. Deep breath in, long breath out. Arms strong, upper body steady. Right knee, 90 degree bend. Now place the hands, bring the right foot, let your left knee come down. Lunge, Ashvatantalasana. Your right knee, let it come forward as much as it can, almost tapping your toes. Feel it here on the inner thighs and the pelvic region. Nice stretch. Right foot goes back, downward facing dog. Adhamukshvanasana. Keeping the back nice and flat, push your hips up and press your heels down. Coming to Falantasana, plank. Shoulders line up right over your ankle wrist. Push your heels back and look out in front of you. Holding plank pose. Strengthen the upper body. Softening the elbows, take your time, lower yourself all the way down. Stretch your arms, your legs. Shastanga Namaskara, full surrender here. Stretch your body and then roll onto your left shoulder coming onto your back. Put yourself back on your mat if you need to. If you're on your carpet, no worries. Stretch the arms, the legs, and then bring your hands by your side. Bend your knees for safety Bandhasana. Lift your hips up, press into your feet. Interlace your fingers underneath the backside and touch your shoulders underneath. Feel here the energy on the back. Push your hips up, tighten your buttock muscles. Now see if you can step your feet back just a little bit. Holding here, bridge pose. Observe here the beating of the heart, the cardiovascular system we see done today, the benefits we gain in the practice of yoga. Relaxing now the hands, release them, your hips come down. Hug your knees into your chest. Bhavana Mukhtasana, bring your forehead towards your knees. Pressing your belly and thigh close. Making yourself into a tight ball. Exhale. Stretch arms, stretch legs. Long stretch. And then roll back onto your left shoulder, come onto your belly. Shashtanga Namaskar. And here we do Dhanurasana. Bend your knees, hold your ankles. In Dhanurasana, we start with our forehead on the mat. Try to keep your elbows straight and your knees and feet close together. You exhale, pushing your feet into your hands, feeling your knees lift off the ground, your head, your neck, your shoulders lifted. Look up. And feel free to just take a few moments here to rock forward and backward. Feel the energy here. Stimulates all the digestive juices, massages the organ systems within. Relax now, releasing your hands from your ankles and place your hands on your shoulders, upper body lifted. Bhuja Sasana, Cobra Pose. Observe the sensation of the lower back. And then roll your shoulders back and feel your heart lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukhsvanasana. Gaze out, look at your hands, and see if you can bring your left foot forward. Bring it close to your hands or take your hands back 
bring your foot. Right knee, let it down, lunge here for a moment, feeling that openness in the inner thighs, sinking to the hips, and then we lift up the back knee, pivoting the right toes to the long side of the mat, bring your arms up, last posture, Vira Bhadrasana. Hips are closed, shoulders are closed, facing the short side of your mat. Arms are strong and lifted. Legs are grounded. Stability in the whole body. Engagement of the muscular skeletal system. Feel the movement of blood flow through the body. Our body systems balanced. Hands to the heart and feet come together. Tadasana, mountain pose. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. Shake out the body. Arms, legs. Good. Take your time now. We're coming down onto our mat. Relax the upper body. Head, neck, shoulders relax. Uttanasana, forward fold. Walk your hands out in front of you. And then take your feet back. Strong. Plank pose, slowly lower the body down. Make yourself a little pillow with your arms. Rest your head here. Observe your breath. The circulatory system made up of these arteries, the heart, the veins, the capillaries, wherever blood flows in the body. The circulatory system also involve the lymphatic system, the blood system and the lymphatic system. Roll over onto your back now. Relax for a moment on the back. Important in the practice is lifting our legs up for really good circulation. Bring your feet together and lift the legs up to the sky. Vipari Sakari. Now hold the back of your knees if you need support, or you can take your legs up against the wall. Sometime during the day, maybe even as you get up in the morning, just throw off the covers and then lift your legs up and hold them lifted for about a minute. Allow for good oxygenated blood to flow from the feet towards the upper extremity. We're often standing on our feet or seated in chairs. So movement is very important for the flow of blood and for the movement of lymph in the body, which helps to remove waste materials in the body. Start to pedal out your legs. Movement. We exercise the body in various ways to engage all the systems. Circulate the other way, pedal backwards. Good. And then relax. Stretch the legs one more time, lift them. And now keep your ankles, your knees together and circle the whole leg. Big circles. Let's try three times in both directions or more, whatever you feel like. Imagine your ankles and your knees are tied together. See if you can go the other way. Strengthen the core muscle, the lower back muscle. Observe your breath. Good. Complete here. Circle. Bend your knees. With your two fingers, you can grab your big toes. Push your heels up to the sky. And just rock from side to side. Massage the back. Ananda Balasana. Happy baby. When the body is free from any ailments, free from any tensions and stress, we are like a happy baby. Now, using the core muscle, see if you can rock and roll yourself up and down. A little movement, a little momentum. Until you come on to your sit bones. Keep doing it until you feel comfortable and then balance on the sit bones. Hold steady. And if you feel comfortable, stretch your legs up. Maybe just parallel to each other, maybe opening them into a wide V. Push your heels up. Find a little balance here. Look up towards the ceiling. Push your heels up. 
Deep breath in. Long breath out. Bring your feet together, maybe cross the ankles. Bring your hands behind your back. Slowly allowing yourself to come forward. Take your time. Forehead towards the earth, shoulders towards the knees. Yoga mudra is the yogic seal. Here we seal in all the benefits of the practice today. Focusing today on the cardiovascular system. Easeful flow of blood and lymph in the body to keep everything balanced. Om Shanti 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 Please come up slowly. Rest your hands on your knees, Gyan Mudra. Maintaining a nice vertical posture. Taking a few moments in Dhyana. 